Now the question is, do I want to go ahead and look at the barn building? Would you call that a barn? I don't really know what you would call that. It's kind of a barn. Or do I want to take out the mutants? We're going to do this first. Pretty sure there's a little mini quest right here. Egret Tours Marina. Pretty sure there's landmines down here. Yep. We'll put this here. Pistol to use. Why is there one in the water? It seems like a... It worked, though. I'm trying to keep us from getting killed. Nick. I'm just going to take this one. If he doesn't step on it. Nick, get over here. What are you doing? How'd you even get in there? Mine. Oh, I guess you just walked in the door. Not locked tight enough. Yes. Are there are more mines in here. Grenades! Nick just walks right in casually. No big deal. Ooh, there's roof access. Ooh, a safe. Ooh, a piece of candy. Can I get to that? Apparently I can. Some ammo. Lots of ammo. Markman's... Marksman's 308 combat rifle. Muzzle hardened 10mm auto pistol. I don't mind if I do. To both of these. And cucumber. Is that a shot? Is a jet a jet? I thought it was a shotgun shell. I should know better. Hey Nick, where'd you go? I'm gonna need your help. That's exactly why. Now I'm too heavy. He was just right here. He disappeared. I'm only over by five pounds. Eh. The one I already have actually is more capable, it seems. I would like to have the dot off of that one, though. I was just going to give it to Nick. But he vanished. Maybe if I crouch, he'll sneak along to me. Yep, there he is. This 308 combat rifle does more damage than the sniper rifle. That's a win, but simultaneously it's like, really? Rooftop access. I almost fell in that hole. <laughs> it fell right back down. Alright, more landmines? Yes. I remember this place being lined with mines. Even in the water for some reason. That's I find that bizarre. Can't seem to hit it. What about with vets? Nope. Is that one in a tree? Oh, it's on the ground, but it looked like it was in a tree. Those must be the only two left. Radium rifle in my soup. I don't think that's how the song goes. Knock, knock. Hello. Putting a gun away. Friendly. Just want to borrow some sugar. Need to make my pastries. Hey. Kid, I don't know who you are, but you better clear out before I go haywire and blast you. Go haywire? 
What do you mean? It means I'm a synth, you numbskull. And if you don't take off, I'm liable to put a hole in your head. What makes you think you're a synth? Blackouts. People I've hurt that I don't remember. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do, and... Boom! One more dead fool. Now... Are you gonna get out of here, or wait for them to make me kill you? There's gotta be more to this. What happened to make you think you're a synth? Look, you're taking a risk staying here to talk to me. But if that's what it'll take to get you to leave... My grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Hard on these old bones, but it kept us fed. I was on watch one night. I... I don't... I'm sitting there with a gun across my knees, looking out over the hill, and... and I think I fell asleep. It, it's just blank. The next thing I remember is the sound of a gunshot shaking me out of it, and Samuel is at my feet, and there's Shit. blood everywhere. Was there anyone else there? Could it have been raiders? No. When they heard the shot, everyone came running out. But no one saw anyone else but me and Samuel. One moment he was there, and then the next... just gone. Those little fingers that used to hold my hand. And it's all my fault. You can't imagine what that's like. Can't you remember anything else from that night? No. There was no one else it could have been. It was just me, and him, and the gun. But I guess he wasn't really my grandson. They must have just given me those memories. Because who could have done that to their own flesh and blood? Now you know why I'm here, and why you need to leave before they make me kill again. I'm a synth, and I can't be trusted. Maybe you are a synth. That doesn't mean you can't change. Don't you get it, kid? I'm too dangerous. I'll just end up hurting someone else. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what joining the Minutemen specifically will help with her situation. If she is a synth and things are actually, you know, if the Institute can actually affect her. It's funny that's an option. Just take things a day at a time. You don't need to rush into anything. Day at a time, huh? Look, I... I'm sorry I drew my weapon on you, kid. I think you're right. I gotta find a way to make peace with what happened. And I can't keep running from it. Hey, Phyllis. Hey. Well, now I can dump stuff here. How about that? And just like that, another settlement. To join our cause. Do whatever you came here to do and get the hell out of here. And stay out of my stuff. I'm gonna take all your loose stuff so that I can put it in this workbench. You building a collection or something? Yep. Hey, Give me what you have. You uh, got a sec? You all right, Nick? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these. Uh, Flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um... They're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine. Pretending to be human. You seem pretty human to me. You think. You feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, 
and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them... Without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home... friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Thanks. You're a good dude, Nick. He's one of my favorite characters. Now give me all you got so I can hey, dump it in this workbench. I'm listening. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. <sighs> Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. I think the game waits until I'm over encumbered or dying of dehydration to <laughs> start these long conversations. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. <laughs> you in? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. <laughs> Let's beat now, his ass. I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winter's. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. <laughs> My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. It's probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. You got it, man. Now we got another quest to do. So many activities. I wonder if she has enough supply here. Not for a turret. Hell, not even for a guard post. Ah, my leg! Got you covered. 
you just see to that leg. All that talking while I was over encumbered. <laughs> it broke my leg. It's all right. Nothing a good night's sleep won't fix. I wonder if I have enough stuff to do something for you. Take the parts off of these two rifles and make the one rifle out of them I wanted to. Nope. Man, this place sucks. There ain't Jack here. Hey. I guess we're gonna be on our way. On the road again. Gonna go fight some super mutants down the road again. Wait, are there landmines here? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't just wander out. You know what? Before I leave, I should cook. I have a bunch of raw meat. And no actual meals. Gotta do that meal prep. Hit them macros. Go get them gains. I got so many death claw steaks. I had a crap ton of rat scorpion too, so I had to leave it all behind. Do I need to make a rat scorpion omelet? Oh, I need purified water. Because I got a couple eggs. Okay. Let's go down the road and visit these super mutants. <laughs>